Hello everyone, my name is Zertonium, and welcome to Dark Cloud 2, or if you live outside North America, Dark Chronicle. Today I am here to answer one question. How do you catch a Baron Garion? And because I'm probably pronouncing Garion incorrectly, I'm just going to call it a Baron. This time around, catching a Baron is a little bit more involved, which is why I decided to go with audio commentary over just plain text. In Dark Cloud 2, there are two types of fishing rods. The standard fishing rod, which I frequently refer to as the bait rod, and the lure rod. The only way to hook a baron is with the fork lure, so the lure rod is needed. There are three methods of obtaining a lure rod, however, only one method enables you to acquire lures as well. The character that is willing to sell you lures will only do so after you recruit them as a companion, and the only way to do that is by taking first place in the Finny Frenzy. The Finny Frenzy is a fish racing tournament. If you want to have any hope of winning, you're going to need to raise a fish. If you want to raise a fish, you need to keep it in an aquarium. And of course, you're going to need to catch your own fish. Since we have a lot to do, we're going to take it one step at a time. If you'd like to skip ahead, I've included links in the description to help you find the step you're looking for. Step 1. Catching a fish. Once you reach the fish monster swamp in the Rainbow Butterfly Woods of Chapter 2, as part of the story, you'll be given the bait rod. While you have a fishing rod equipped, you can fish in almost any body of water so long as you see the start fishing prompt in the bottom left corner of the screen. Fishing with the bait rod is simple. Once you set your bait, just cast your line and wait for a fish to bite. When you see the bobber get pulled completely under the water, press down on the left stick to hook the fish and start a mini game where you reel the fish in. On the right side of the screen, you'll see a gauge that displays the current amount of tension on your fishing line. As you reel the fish in, the tension on the line increases. The bigger the fish, the faster the increase in tension. If the tension hits max, you lose the fish. Periodically, you'll see an arrow on screen that points either left or right. This means that the fish is pulling the line in that direction. If you pull the rod in the same direction that the fish is pulling, it will release some of the tension from the line. The basics of this minigame consist of alternating between reeling in and releasing tension from the line until you've managed to completely reel in the fish. Once you have your desired fish, it's on to the next step. Step 2. Getting an Aquarium In order to get an aquarium, you need to invent one. This can be done as early as Chapter 1, right after you get the camera from Cedric. The three things you need to photograph are a window, a wooden box, and a fountain. All three can be found within close proximity to Cedric's shop. Once you've made the aquarium, it's on to the next step. Yeah, it works! Step 2.5 Securing a source of fishing bait. Although this next step is optional for catching a baron, it is technically required for the supporting cast trophy. If you recruit the character named Fabio that hangs around the Palm Brink's pond, he will sell you fishing bait. In order to recruit him, you will need to catch a Nonki that is at least 60 centimeters long. Nonki can be caught in the Palm Brink's pond However, it may take some time in order to catch one that is big enough. Once you have Fabio on your side, you'll have an unlimited supply of bait to feed your fish, as well as to go fishing with. Now, back to the task at hand. Step 3. Raising a fish. Once you've placed your fish in the aquarium, you can feed it and view its stats. When you feed your fish, the stat that increases is dependent upon which bait you fed it. 
How often you can feed your fish seems to vary a little bit. Sometimes I was able to feed my fish again after waiting only a minute and a half since the last feeding. Other times I had to wait a full two minutes. You can check the description below for more information on your fish's stats and what effect bait will have when you feed it to your fish. Once you believe your fish is strong enough, it's on to the next step. Step 4. Taking first place in the finny frenzy. The finny frenzy becomes available once you reach the floor called Return of the Serpent in the Ocean's Roar Cave of Chapter 4. From that point onward, the finny frenzy will alternate with the fishing contest on its 10-day cycle. If you believe your fish is ready and the finny frenzy is available, you can sign it up for a race. When you sign up, you will be given a choice of four different classes for your fish to compete in. Although there is a trophy for taking first place in the master class, I would recommend starting with the beginner class as your chance of success is a lot greater. After you make your class selection, you will be given a choice of which tank you'd like to place your fish in. Which tank you choose ultimately depends on how you raise the stats of your fish. What worked for me was to raise the boost stat of my fish, which determines its overall speed. In my case, the first tank would be ideal, as it doesn't require my fish to use any of its other stats, which I didn't bother to increase. The race takes place across three separate heats. In order to advance to the second heat, your fish needs to take first place in the first heat. In order to move on to the third heat, your fish needs to place at least second in the second heat. In the third heat, if you place in the top three, you'll earn a prize. However, for our purposes, you need to place first. So I'm sure by now you've noticed that the fish I'm entering in the Finny Frenzy is in fact a Baron. It's actually possible to get a Baron through breeding. If you haven't bred any fish together previously, then you will unlock that trophy. However, you will not get the trophy for catching a baron. If you can take first place, it's on to the next step. Step 5. Getting a Lure Rod there are actually three ways you can get a lure rod, and I will go over them now. The first method, and probably the easiest of them all, is to simply invent one. To do so, you will need photos of a river, a fish, and the Lafricia stem from the boss room of the Rainbow Butterfly Wood. Combine these together, and you can make a lure rod. You will need to do this for the trophy, a true visionary, however, the lure rod is useless without any lures. The second method is to take first place in the fishing contest. The fishing contest will be unlocked when you reach the Moon Baron floor of Starlight Canyon in Chapter 3. After this point, the fishing contest will be held for 72 in-game hours every 10 in-game days. For the contest itself, you can weigh in a total of up to 10 fish, wherein they will take the total weight of the three largest fish that you weigh in. In order to stand a chance at winning, I would recommend that your three heaviest fish weigh in at a total of at least 16,000 grams. If you can do that, your prize for first place is the lure rod. However, still useless without any lures. And finally, the third method, take first place in the finny frenzy. Once you've done that, return to the part of town in front of City Hall when no contests are being held. You are now able to finally recruit the character that is willing to sell you lures. And if you didn't previously have a lure rod, you can buy one from her as well.
The lure you need to use to catch a baron is the fork lure. With lure rod and fork lure in hand, it's on to the final step. Step 6. Catching a baron. The baron can be caught in the hot springs of Heimrata as soon as you reach chapter 5. Fishing with the lure rod is a little bit different from fishing with the bait rod. Ideally, while using a lure, you want to try and mimic the movements of its real-world counterpart. For example, with the frog lure, you might want to try alternating between jerking the rod to the side a few times and slowly reeling it in for about a second. Now, because the lure we're using is quite literally shaped like a dinner fork, we're going to have to take a little bit of a guess as to how to make it move. Wonderfully enough, adopting a movement pattern similar to that of the frog lure actually seems to work rather well. Now, some people would have you believe that you can only catch a baron between a certain window of time. However, I seem to be able to catch them at all points of the day. Thankfully, you don't need to upgrade the lure rod at all in order to catch a baron. The downside is that your line will hit maximum tension incredibly quickly. As for the first baron that I caught with my default lure rod, from the time I hooked it, it took nearly two minutes to reel it in. If you are going to use a default lure rod, you're going to need to make sure you have a lot of patience and a feather touch. Once you manage to land it, the Baron and its trophy will be yours. And that is how you catch a Baron Garion in Dark Cloud 2. My name is Zertonium, thanks for watching, and we'll see you next time.